Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at Topaz Gigapixel 8's generative models. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Well, what are these generative models in Topaz Gigapixel 8 all about? Well, let's check it out today. The first thing I'd like to say about the generative models is they are designed for smaller files and the largest upsize you can get is up to 64 megapixels and that is the upsize limit. Today I'm working with some stock images, rather small files. This one is 640 by 883 pixels. And note, we have two different generative models. We have Recover and Redefine. Now Redefine is beta. Recover, think of Recover. This is an old photograph. Again, it's a stock image, but I thought it would be a good test for Recover because we'll see what kind of a job it could do. But Redefine is more like a more creative use of AI, which you'll see here in a little bit what I mean by that. The generative models Recover and Redefine Beta are very labor intensive on your computer. I don't even use my computer to render out these two models. Topaz have come up with a way around that, and that is called cloud rendering. Now it does come at a cost, which we'll get into. But first off, let me go ahead and upscale this image six times. Now I'm using the recover generative model, so I'll click on 6x, and I'll reposition this so we can see it here. And note, if you look right over here on the bottom left side of the interface, preview controls, you have small, medium, and large. And right now I'm set up for small, and this is a preview window. So this is nice when you're in the recover model, you could go ahead and find a spot on the image that you want to see what kind of a result you'll get. Now, right now my detail is set to 100%. I'll move this small preview box over the glasses and the mouth and I will give it a click. And now it is starting to render, but I'm going to leave this in real time so you can see how long this takes to render. I have an iMac with an Intel processor. It's pretty fast. And this is the amount of time just to see a preview. So it's relatively long. And if you were to export this image, it really takes a long time. I don't even try it on my computer. And now it's done. Now, if you want to, you can add another preview box. I don't know how many of these you can add, but you can add quite a few. And I'll add one right here over the ear and some of the hair. And I won't make you wait this time. And now we can see what that looks like. So if you're happy with this and you say, you know, I want to go ahead and render it, you could click export image and export it. You know, it could take a half an hour. It could take 15 minutes. It could take two hours. I don't really know because I have tried clicking export and after waiting over 30 minutes, I just gave up on it. I said, forget this. This is way too long for me. And I click cancel just to stop the export. And so I thought this is a good time to check out Cloud Render and see what that's all about. Now, I'm pretty sure if you have an up-to-date license or you purchase Topaz Gigapixel 8, I'm pretty sure right now they are giving you $25 worth of free credits, which is 100 credits. Now, don't hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure that offer is still going on at this time. Now, my license was up to date, and when I updated Gigapixel to Topaz Gigapixel 8, I did see 100 credits up here. Now I'm down to 72, as you can see. But you'll look up in the right-hand side of the interface up here, and it will give you your credit amount. Now, note, I am at six times upsizing, and if we look down on the bottom right-hand side of the interface, right here where it says Cloud Render, you would click here, and you would render this in the cloud, if you were to click export image, then your computer is going to render it. And I don't know how long it can take for you. You may want to try just to see. You might have a much faster computer than I do, and it might be okay for you. And if it is fast for you or slow, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. But if we note down here, it says for cloud render, it'll take one minute and 12 seconds approximately, and it will cost 12 credits, 12 whole credits. Now note, if I go to 4X, now it says six credits. If I go to 2X, it says two credits. And if I go to 1X, it says one credit. Now you may say, why would I use 1X? Well, maybe you have an image and you just want to recover detail back into the image and it would cost one credit to just recover the image, but not upscale it. Now note, I am at 1X, but I noticed something here at 1X. I'm still seeing the 
result that I would get in these preview windows. If I go to 2x, you can see the result I can get as well as four, as well as six times. So that's kind of interesting, right? It looks like you could see what it's going to look like in any one of those upscaling sizes. And I also want to point out, you see right here, we only have one slider for recover, and that is a detail slider. Right now I'm at 70%. Let me drag this up to 100%. And you can see there's a little extra detail there. Let's go ahead and send this up to the cloud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be stingy with my credit. So I'm going to click 2x because at 2x, it's only going to cost me two credits. And as you can see, it's going to take one minute and 12 seconds approximately. And so now all I need to do is click on cloud render and we get a confirmation. Do you want to render one image in cloud? You're about to use two credits to render this image in cloud. Would you like to proceed? And I'll click yes. And you could click don't show again if you want to, but I'll click yes. It says added to queue, image added to cloud render queue. And if I click view, we can see right here, here's the status. Right now it's at 0%. I'm not going to make you wait for this. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. When it's done, I'll show you the result. And now it says it's finished. Now, if you click right here, you see this icon here? If you click, it'll show you where it is. And it's in my downloads folder right here. And now we're back inside of Gigapixel 8. This is the original image. There's really no change on this image right now. This is what the original image looks like. Now, this is the result that I got back from the cloud. So take a look at the image right now. This is the original, and this is the one I just got back from the cloud. As you can see, it did a really nice job. Now, where would you use this recover model? If you have smaller images that you just need to recover some detail in those images, this is when you would want to use the recover model. But for most of the time, you're still only going to be using the basic models. But when you have a smaller image file that is lacking in detail that you'd like to recover, but also upsize the image, that's where the recover model comes in handy. Now let's check something out here. Let's go back to the original and let's go ahead and upsize it two times. And what I'll do is use the low res basic model on it and see what kind of result we get. And that is the result right there. Not too bad, but now let's compare it with the result we got back from the cloud. This is the result from the cloud. And I would say it does look better. Now I realize it's only upsized two times because I was being stingy on my credit. So forgive me for that. But now let me go back to the original and this is the original. Now don't forget if you wanna see if recover is going to help, when you click on recover, don't forget to pick a preview window, and I recommend the small size, it'll render quicker, and just hover over an area and click and see what kind of result it's gonna give you. And then you might wanna compare it with a basic model just to see if there's much difference. Is it worth wasting a credit on? Now let's go to redefine. So let's click on redefine. I'm not even gonna try using a preview window of any size because I'll tell you it takes forever. At least it does for me. Let me know what kind of result you get on your computer. Now take note for model settings. We have creativity, texture, extra sharpen, extra denoise, and an area that we can type in information if we want to, like you would do say in like mid journey or Photoshop's Firefly, where you want to add something to your image. We could do that here also. Right now, you'll notice my creativity is on four. If I click on the lightning bolt, my creativity is now on one. And that is where Gigapixel recommends that you start at. Now, if you're at one for creativity, the AI will take less liberty in redefining your picture for you. Because remember, this is called redefine. It will redefine your picture at one. It'll keep it pretty close to what it already is, but it will hopefully make it look much better. Now you'll note that the texture is set down here at one and extra sharpen and denoise are at zero. Now, if I change this to like, for instance, two, you'll notice the texture bumps up to three. Now you could change this to any setting that you want here, but on my tests, I left this at three and I tried some different creativity numbers, which I will show you my results here in a minute, but I started out with creativity of one. I did not type anything in the image description. For my different creativity settings, I used an upscale of two times just to save on some credits because you'll note it's gonna take two credits 
each time I render this in the cloud. And it's going to take roughly 47 seconds each time I render it in the cloud at 2x. Now, just to save some time, I've already rendered these out. But again, to render this right now at Creativity 1 at 2 times upscaling, I would just click this button right here. Or if you want to try it on your computer, click Export Image. Okay, so right now you're seeing the before. And this is Cloud Render with Creativity on 1. As you can see, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty similar to what I got with Recover. Now, let's try Cloud Render Creativity Level 2. And now it looks like this. Okay, the face is looking a little bit better. Maybe the clothes look a little bit different. And now let's try Cloud Render 3. And now you can see even the face is starting to look a little bit younger, right? That's three, and then I bumped it up to six. So what do you think it's gonna look like on six? Well, this is creativity level six right here. It totally changed the image, right? The clothing, the face, this looks like a much younger person. Let's compare that to the original. So there's the original, and this is creativity set to one. This is creativity set to two, creativity set to three, and now here it is set to creativity six. So you can see the results really do vary between the different creativity levels. And now I have one more image, this landscape image, another stock image, very small, 640 by 853 pixels, upscaled two times, and creativity is set on six. I'm using the redefined beta model, texture is at three, and then I typed in this description, rustic cabin near the water, and then I clicked on cloud render, and now I'll show you the result. And here is my result. As you can see, it added these rustic cabins back here. I only asked for a rustic cabin, but it decided to give me two, and it looks pretty good. It took some artistic license on this image here. Now, here's something else you could do. If you were to use the generative models and say you use the smaller upscaling sizes, that doesn't mean you can't come and use a basic model on this image. For instance, right now, this image is at 1280 by 1706 pixels i could come here and click say like on standard and maybe upscale this one maybe four times to bring it up to 5120 by 6824 pixels and as you can see it looks pretty good so you could go ahead and upscale even further using the basic models i just thought i would throw that in there for an extra option for you by the way, in case you're wondering, how do I buy credits? Well, if you come up to the top right-hand side of the interface and click on your credit number right here and then click on Buy Credits, it'll take you over to Topaz's website. And you'll notice here, you can get 20 credits for $5. You get 40 credits for 10. You get 60 credits for 15. You get 80 credits for 20 and 100 credits for 25. And then they have these different plans here. And they're monthly plans. They have a basic a standard and a pro so you could see if any of these plans would meet any of your needs or just buying individual credits or not buying credits at all so that's totally all up to you and here is our final result remember i sent this up to the cloud and used the redefined model upscaled it two times and then i brought it back into gigapixel and i upscaled it four times using the standard ai model and now we're viewing it in my imac preview app and this is the final result, and I think it came out pretty good. There it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then... Happy editing.